right, hey y'all. This is um, special snack for sports week, okay? This one's a little trickier because the kids are gonna have three options. Now, leaders, it is up to y'all. Y'all can choose your favorite um, cupcake and just say, we're all making that one, or you can give them options. When I did it, I gave them the options, and then I had three centers because you have three cupcake options. So I said, if you're gonna make the football, then sit over at this table. If you're going to make the tennis ball, sit over at this table. And then if you wanna make the baseball, you can sit over at this table. So I divided them up that way and it really helped um, because again, the more, if you give them structured options, they're gonna feel more independent, more responsible, and they're just gonna have a lot more fun because they get to choose what they do. Um, but it's that structured choice that's important. So. I'm going to show you how to make each one. I'm going to do it one at a time. Um, we will start with the football. So um, cupcake, we're just going to use a regular cupcake. does not have to be a chocolate cupcake. You can pick whatever cupcake you want. Um, I bought one box and I was able to make 24 cupcakes. So that should be plenty for your group. So just one box of cupcake mix or cake mix is needed for this. You're also going to need white icing and you're also gonna need chocolate icing. So get one thing of white icing and one thing of chocolate icing. Um, I can't, you might want, this one's, you see the size difference. The white is a little bit, little bit larger. I would suggest getting this one or getting two whites just to make sure you have enough. The chocolate, you should have plenty in one because all you're doing with that is just icing for the football. All right, so like I said, um, Chocolate is all only for the football. So if you're doing the football one, ice yours with um, the chocolate icing to get your base. Because um, obviously, I mean, you'll have kids that say, well, my football is green or my football is red at home. Just tell them the traditional football is chocolate and um, so that they can do that. Or if you're feeling brave, you can let them choose what color um ball they want to have if they do have a red football at home and they want to make a red football they can do that it's up to you you're in charge um but i i gave them these three options i didn't let them do any more than this just because it's a lot of food coloring involved a lot of dyeing the white icing and stuff so it just gets really complicated so giving them a structured choice like i said is probably the best but it is up to you so once you have your um, cupcake ice with chocolate icing you're going to ice it with your um, you're going to get a bag okay I've already made mine because um, I had made the examples but what you do you get a ziploc bag and you stick some icing in one of the corners okay you see how one corner has nothing in it that's what you want to do you want to stick all your icing not all your icing but enough icing to make the stripes um, in one corner and then you're gonna get all the air out squeeze it all down and then you're gonna cut just a tiny bit mine is a little larger than it should be um, so you can cut yours a little smaller because there's just gonna be a lot of icing coming out if you can see that there's just a lot of icing coming out so if you want to cut yours a little smaller smaller than mine I would suggest that but you just cut the corner off just a tad bit to draw your cupcake okay so for a football it's really simple you draw one line close to the middle just like that one line and then you're going to draw your three lines over it or across it like this one in the middle and you're gonna and I would give just a little bag like this to each kid so they can make their stripes um, and so twisting it also helps if they're running out they can always twist the bag to get as much icing as they can get out of it but I would totally suggest letting the kids draw these because again it's their cupcakes so there's your football it's gonna look different for each kid um, even my two look different these have little thicker stripes but there's your football super simple super easy but just a lot of fun all right so the next one we'll do is our um, tennis ball 
This one's a little trickier because of the food coloring, okay? So, what you're going to do is um, get your food coloring. And you're going to get green and yellow food coloring. So, you're going to get both, all right? And then you're going to get your white. Just get enough um, for how you think, how many kids are going to do it. So this you'll you'll be mixing and dyeing the icing with the kids. So if they're all doing the tennis ball, have one, have you or your camp counselor um, sit at that table and show them what they're doing, showing show them what you're doing because you're gonna mix a whole bunch of the icing for each um, so all the kids can have some. So it's not a um, so it's just easier to mix it all at once unless you're feeling brave and you have little bowls for each kid to mix their own um, Which they can do with the bags. They can have their own individual bag I would just suggest getting one big bowl though and mixing the same color for your tennis balls um, Because like I said the dye is a little tricky you do a little bit of green and then you do a little bit more yellow because you want that like green yellow look um Kind of, it's definitely lighter than grass, um, but let's see if you can see. There's my green, there's my yellow. Sorry for the messy bowl. Um, so you're gonna mix, and it's gonna take a minute, but you're just gonna mix as best you can, or you could pass around the bowl and let the kids mix. So you are in control. Um, you put the dye, you put the dye in, but then they they feel part of the experience by mixing it is what I would suggest. With the older kids though. They really can do all this on their own. You just have to make sure you have enough bowls and spoons and knives to mix it. Um, but with the little ones, if you want them to help mix and just pass it around, that's totally, that's what I would do. Um, and make, that makes it structured and controlled and doesn't go crazy. And you don't waste icing that way too. All right, so this is the kind of the green you want for your tennis ball. Just a nice lime green. I don't know if you can see it because it's mixed with all the yellow. But there, there's your green. It's, close, it's very, very much a lime green color. All right, so then you're gonna get your cupcake and you're gonna ice it on. Really simple. Y'all are gonna be pros at icing cupcakes after this. Um, so yeah, ice it, get it, you can encourage them to get it as smooth as possible. That really um, gives them a task while they're icing, so they're not just going crazy with the icing. Just encourage them, try to make it as smooth as possible, nice and soft, because um, all the ball, the sports balls aren't bumpy. So if you, you know, encourage them to get it as smooth as possible. It's not gonna be very smooth because the icing sticks to the knife and everything, but you can do your best. You can encourage them that way. So here is our iced softball, or I'm sorry, tennis ball. So now we're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna have a little bag with a little bit of white icing on it. It truly, truly, especially with the tennis ball, does not take much. It's just two stripes, okay? So, but they're a little curved. So you wanna make sure you don't give them too little, but really it does not take much. I have, let's see, oops. I have this little left and I won't use all of it, okay? So you really does not take much. But you're gonna get your ball and you're gonna do two curved lines. You're gonna start on one end, curve it in, go back to the edge, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Start at the edge, curve, go back out to the edge. Just like that. Not great, not perfect, but you can tell it's a tennis ball. Um, I think my first one was better, but that's okay. So there's your tennis ball, and look, I still have white icing left, okay? Um, so truly does not take a ton. But there's your tennis ball. All right, last but not least is our baseball. Um, if I remember correctly, I had a lot of kids want to make the baseball. This was definitely the popular one. Um, so make sure you just are aware of that. It could be totally wrong, it could be totally different with your class, but I had a ton of baseball players in my class, um, in my camp, and so I had a ton that wanted to make these. 
And of course, it's the most compl most complicated one because you got it's kind of a combination of both the football and the tennis ball because you got your lines and then you got to go over them. Uh, but I'll walk you through it, okay? So the first step is to ice with just regular white icing. So there's no dyeing yet, um, no food dye yet. You just get your icing. And again, encourage the kids to try to make it as smooth as possible. Um, you don't want too little, but you also don't want a ton. Um, so just keep on a lookout. They're always going to want to try to put more than they actually need. Um, but just remind them, hey, we got 20, we got 20 campers here. We want to make sure all of them get icing on their cupcake. So we need to be um, respectful of that and make sure we don't go crazy with icing um, to make sure our friends get some is what I would do. All right, so easy, ice it. Mine's not super smooth, but you can encourage the kids to be smoother. Um, again, I have already done it, but what you do is you mix, you get some white icing, mix it in a bowl with red. You have to use more red than you think because it's going to be, it's going to start as pink. Um, and obviously you don't want um, pink baseball, you want red stripes. So put more red than you think, mix it you're probably gonna have to put more red in it as well afterwards is what i did put a ton of red mix it still with more pink than i wanted put more red and then it got to the color i wanted so but then you do the same thing you do with the white stripes you put it in a ziploc bag um one corner and then you cut it to get um to get your icing out and it's more controlled the kids are going to love this because it's going to feel like they're you know in a real bakery and they're have their own little designer um, thing here so they really have fun with this but make sure each kid gets some sort of opportunity to use the um, ziploc bag and design their cupcake so you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna start like we started the tennis ball and you're gonna do a stripe Wait, i gotta go back over a stripe starting from one end kind of curved going to the other end and then you're gonna do that on the opposite side as well and I would encourage the kids, it does not take a ton of pressure to push out the icing. So encourage your kids, take take their time, do not rush, and um, it does not take a lot. So be soft with the bag of icing. So you have your two like this. Now you're going to do your two stripes or your three stripes. You're going to start, I start in the middle, kind of gauge where the middle is um, on both sides. Just like that okay and then you're gonna do two on the outside and those can be a little curved if you want um, I'll curve mine just a tad bit because um, they're not straight but you just dab on each side and there's your baseball you get your three stripes for each one um, and there it is there's your baseball so those are your three options for sports week. Baseball, tennis ball, and your football. All right, those are your three options. Um, I hope you have a great time during sports week. I hope you have a lot of fun, a lot of competition going, um, and I hope the kids enjoy their um, sport ball cupcakes. All right. Y'all have a great week. Thank y'all. Bye.